Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with another 12 Days of Anime video. And I'm going to be showcasing today uh, the Anime Radiant. Now, before I continue, I want to see a few things. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Secondly, if you haven't seen the 12 Days of Anime in my channel and in the other YouTubers' channels, you guys can just hit the tag above the title. And you guys can go and see all these awesome videos made by me and other YouTubers Uh that are focusing on the 12 days of anime. Now, before I continue with the uh, explanation of today's video, let's start with the intro. Here we go. Hey guys, by the video, you guys can probably tell what the video is about, and that's about me talking just a little bit about how not so bad Radiant is. Now, uh, why am I saying not so bad? Well, if you look at the rating in my anime list, uh, about a little bit uh, below 8,000 people uh, have voted, and they've scored it at a 6.4. As of right now, as of today, the day that I'm recording this video, it could have changed by now. But uh, as of right now, it's at a 6.4, uh, standing pretty low because there's a lot of anime in my anime list. Uh, in fact, hundreds and hundreds of anime that are at, you know, 6.5 uh, and above. So 6.4 is a pretty middle ground in my anime list. And I've noticed that not a lot of people have talked about the anime. Not a lot of people are excited about episodes coming out. Yet it's still not so bad of an anime. It's being both sub and dub. So you can now watch it in Crunchyroll and in Funimation. Uh, so it's available to not just people that watch sub anime but also people that don't do that that you know focus on just what what is being aired in dub but why is no one talking about this well i decided to buy the two first volumes of the manga and i haven't read them all so i will be reviewing these in my channel eventually uh but i've also done a little bit of search of why people don't think it's so good and really there's not much about it people just don't think is bad, but don't think it's the greatest thing ever either. Uh, it is a shonen, and the story itself is not very, very teen oriented. I will say it kind of feels more like it's targeting a younger crowd. And I did set that in my first impression videos when I made a first impression on the series itself uh, back in October, September whenever it first started airing. And uh, it, that's the feeling that, I, that it came off, at least in the first two episodes. But as, as more and more episodes are released, uh, there is a little bit more of a teen side to it. Now, I won't say you won't find a lot of etchiness to it. Um, I think if you compare this with Black Clover, uh, another shonen anime being aired, uh, Black Clover is a little bit more etchy than Radiant, and Black Clover is not that etchy at all. Uh, My Hero Academia would be considered, I think in my book, etchier than Radiant, and My Hero Academia is not etchy at all. So uh, that could be part of the reason why Radiant is not receiving as much love. Now the story follows a guy called Seth, and uh, he's there in the cover uh, in the first volume. So Seth... Uh, basically has a special ability where he can generate magic with his fist, which is not kind of seen. But essentially there's a world where uh, you have uh, humans and then you have uh, the nemesis, these big creatures that terrorize the world. And then you have a middle ground species where Seth belongs. And that is humans that survive attacks from nemesis and now have these magical powers. He lives with Alma and eventually he goes out and has an adventure of his own trying to figure out where the nemesis come from to destroy them all from the beginning. On his way there to find this place, he meets Millie or yeah, yeah, Millie and Doc and uh, he makes friends. So uh, after that, they end up in the city and there's adventure to it. So uh, 
the the story itself follows what I would say a good shonen uh, anime. Kind of has the underdog story to it. It has the the uh, you know big universe kind of uh, uh, map out where they haven't shared enough information of the world where so many things can come out of it. You know, uh, will he ever find this place? Maybe not. Maybe it'll be like One Piece where they take forever to find a place. Or it could be that they do find it and then they end up going deeper into the world. Uh, or it could be that it's just a arc that they're focusing on and eventually there'll be another arc like in Black Clover and there'll be another empire that we will find out that there is out there. As of right now, I think I'm in episode, I would say, 9 or 8 as of right now. Um, but I will start reacting to the series. Uh, in fact, I'm going to try to react on the 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 eleventh episode, which will be airing uh, pretty soon, actually. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen that, you guys can watch that video as well. Uh, I, I'm very, very, very uh, confused. So if you guys haven't uh, done so by now, you guys can answer this question: Do you uh, care or not care about Radiant? And if you not care, why is it? Is it just because it's not out there? It's not being you know thrown out in Twitter, uh, in in uh, Reddit, and in, in Facebook, and whichever media you use. Is it not being talked about talked enough, or is it just that it's meh of an anime? I want to want to know for you know in real detail your thoughts, and I will continue the conversation in the comment section. Hopefully, for those who want to continue this conversation with me of why Radiant is not being talked about more, uh, and uh, not giving the love that maybe it should deserve. So overall, guys, I think that if you're not watching it, you should be watching it. Because uh, it could turn out to be one of the better shonens that we have uh, coming out in this few na few years. So uh, I don't think an anime should be successful out of how etchy it could be. And when an anime is good without the etchiness, I think it's a good one that should be kept. So guys, make sure you check out this anime and the manga as well. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't done so, check out my other 12 Days of Anime videos as well as my uh, other videos that I have on my channel. Subscribe to it if you haven't done so as well. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And like always, guys, don't be strangers.